and I'm going to present my perspective, my view, or how, how I do things. And right now, today I'm running, I'm partnering five key two projects, so I think it's a very effective way of uh, doing projects. Only in Erasmus, not in general. Okay, what happens normally uh, with teams, uh, with partnerships, they normally have one idea, and they have a nice idea, like those ones, and they, they build, they design a project. It's the normal way. You have the idea, and then you design the project. Okay, so you have a project like this. It's very nice. It's your perfect project. It's, but it's, it's a square. It's fantastic. You did your best. And then you apply to Erasmus Key2 project. And you fail. Okay. Why? Because you did your best. I mean, you are a fantastic project. I mean, it's excellent. But you fail and people get angry. So why is the reason? Because in Erasmus, they are expecting a triangle. Okay? So it doesn't fit. So you did your best, but you don't get the, the project. Why? Because they are expecting a triangle. So my way, I think is the best way, is to do it in the opposite way. It's the first question is the most important thing, is to know what they want. So I'm not going to start with an idea and to design a project. I'm going to do just the opposite. What they want. They want a triangle. So okay, I'm not going to design a square project. I'm going to design a triangle. Okay? Because in key two actions, it's very difficult to get a project. There's a high competition, you know that, blah, blah, blah. So it's not very smart to start that way, okay? So there is another difficult, very difficult question is, how do you know if they want a triangle, a circle, a square project? And that's very complicated. That's the main problem in, in K2. So I'm evaluator at the Spanish National Agency for something like 20 years, okay? And people ask me, why are you evaluator? It's the most boring thing in the world. I mean, evaluating, that's really boring. But for me, it's the only way to understand what they want, okay? When you are in touch with them year by year, at the end, you understand your mind, their minds, and you know what they want. So you provide what they want. For me, it's the only way to be successful. Just the opposite. So I'm going to try to explain a little bit about what they want. But it's not written any, anywhere. I mean, it's, it's not a secret, but not, nobody tells you exactly what they want. The first thing in general for Erasmus, is that they want us in general to meet. That's very important. The main objective of Erasmus is us to meet, not to have very nice results. Of course, they cannot say it like that. They, can, they cannot say, we don't expect very nice results for your projects. The most important thing is they want to mix the countries, the partner, the institution, everything. So that's very important when we design a project. We have to have partners almost from everywhere, okay? For instance, if you, if you have partners only from the north of Europe, it's not nice. It doesn't happen, of course, but it's not nice. If you have partners only from Spain, France, etc. it's not nice. You, have, you must have one partner from maybe France, Spain, another one for Eastern Europe, etc. So that's very important. Another important thing is that they want us to meet. So they pe some people, they, they don't want to have meetings, training weeks, blah, 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 because it means that you have to travel, you have to spend money, and they skip that. They think, okay, I'm going to do everything online, or we have only one meeting, and we don't have, that's wrong, because they want us to meet. The idea of Erasmus is that we are Europeans. 
They don't say like that, but it's like that, okay? For instance, nowadays, uh, it's very important to have one partner from Balkans. It's very, very important. They give some extra points for that, but it's not written anywhere. They cannot say like that. It's not a rule like that, okay? but it's very, very important if you got if you have a partner from Balkans, you have extra points. Everything is like that in Erasmus. So you have to think in that way. For is instance, it, is now it we because have- because of Ukraine? Or? No, no, it, it was before Ukraine, because Balkans is the future of Europe, and blah, 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 and they are not inside, they are waiting, and it's blah, blah, blah. So now in two projects, we have uh, partners from Montenegro. And why? Because they have beach, they have everything, because they are from Balkans. If they are from Balkans, you have maybe 10 extra points. But that's a lot. I mean, it makes the difference. And you are always thinking in that way. Where, where are the extra points? Not in that way. In that way, it doesn't work. Okay? So I have bad news for the future. Now, we are in a new term of Erasmus. In the past, from the last year, from to the past, it was different. It has changed the last year, okay? And what they want, unfortunately, they want less key to projects, less than the half key to projects, but they want a lot of mobilities with less budget, less budget than now. So really cheap mobilities. So the idea is they, they want one million mobilities with cheap money. So it's the main aim. And the, for the key two projects, they are going to give half the project, the budget, for the next years, for the next five years. Okay, so it's going to be more and more and more difficult to have uh, key two projects. And more and more and more easier to have uh, mobilities. Because they, they want to have triple mobilities but for less money in its mobility. Yes, it can be key one projects, but uh, in, the, in our institutions we have uh, key one mobilities without projects. There are a lot of, uh, but mainly key one. But not key one project like this one, also key one for students, for teachers, for blah, blah, blah. There are many kinds of key one without the, so, but that's the main objective now. Talking about Spain. No, no, talking about Europe. I'm talking about Europe. Because okay. each national agency no, no, has no, no. its own uh, priorities, I'm, no? Somehow. I, no, no, I'm talking about the European Commission. It's for the, all Europe. It's, uh, it's not the, for, for Spain, it's for everyone. I mean, it's. Is the aim is to increase the number of mobilities, the travel, and so on. Why do, don't they change the regulations to increase the travel costs? Because they have a budget, and they say that now they want triple, but with less budget. That's it. They, they don't want to have triple budget and triple mobilities. They want to have triple mobilities with less budget. That's why I have that discussion with Claudio, because we are having those problems and it's going to be more and more and more hard. For instance, now I have a project, I have to send students to Malta, but I, I'm not going to send them to Malta for this month, because it's too expensive and we can do that. It's the high season, it's impossible, okay? And we have money because it's a key too, but it's not enough. I mean, because Malta now is, is really expensive. So we are not going to send the students. That's the problem. But that's the new approach. So we, we have to have this in mind. And this is about, if I may, this is about co-financing. Because as I, we went previously with Shamsia in Padova with this new generations of projects. And this one, you know, now is 66 per day per participant, and ours was only 37 per day per participant, so half. And obviously, they told me, oh, how much do you want? We give. And I asked 50 things, is a bit the point we talked about. 
But uh, what is behind this is that, according to me now, European Union asks for co-financing somehow. Either from the participants, I was some month ago in uh, something in Slovakia and the, the organization asked us some money, or local co-financing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, is the, the new approach is bad news for everyone. But this, do this you really think they can increase the number of uh, travels and uh, much more mobilities if they increase the cost or do they make the same? Yes, but as Yves said, for instance, in, if you are a big institution, you have some money to co finance the mobility of your students. So you ask for maybe, but some people, some students, limits. they do it like that. This this limits the partners to all the partners with financial power. Yes, but it's going to be like that. I'm not guilty for that, I think, yes. But it's, it's like that, it's the official, yeah. So, we are going on with uh, key two projects. The good news, let's say good news, is there are two main uh, aims for key two projects for the next uh, still five years. And it's very important because we have to keep in mind that they are the priorities of the European Commission. One is digital, and the second one is the Green Deal. So it's very important to have one, if you want to write a project or design a project, it's very important to have one of them. And it's very interesting to have both. But this very, very high priority. You can do something different, of course, and you can succeed of course, but they have two priorities. So it's better if you want to, to be successful to, to follow one of these two priorities. Okay, now a little bit about the project design, about the triangle. What's very important from them is very, very important, the dissemination. The dissemination is very, very important for the European Commission. Let's say it's 40% of the project. And when you design a project like this, nobody thinks about the dissemination. You think about a good project, a good idea, I'm going to do that, blah, 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 I'm going to have the glass, a machine, blah, blah, blah. But nobody thinks about dissemination. So that's why they fail. Dissemination for them, is around 40% of the project. Why? Because it's a political issue. issue. They want to say that they are doing something, blah, blah, blah. They, they want their flag everywhere, and they want uh, to spread out that they are doing uh, innovation, Green Deal, digital, education, blah, blah, blah. So it's very, very important to have a very strong dissemination plan. That's very, very important. As many people as you read, yes, that's excellent. But you have to have everything in the dissemination plan. Yes, so, so, social media, you have to do meetings, you have to present to other partners, to other people, etc., etc. Et okay? It's also very important uh, to have associated partners. What does it mean? In, in Kitu, we have partners. It means that a partner has the budget, but also each partner has associated partners. It means that they are partners that are interested in the project. Local ones, you mean? Local ones. Okay, but they sign, they have to sign a letter saying, I am interested in your project because it's very nice, so we are going to collaborate and blah, 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 but they have zero budget, okay? But in that way, you are multiplying the dissemination power of your project. If I, have, I am a partner in Valencia, but I have five associated partners, I'm multiplying the effect for six. So for the European community, that's very important. So now, for instance, we are presenting the new project with uh, associated partners. And it's 
very easy to have associated partners. They just have to sign a letter of interest saying they are, the project is very nice, they are going to, go, for instance, NGOs, schools, universities, associations, anything. Even companies. Companies, anything. Companies are trendy to yeah, show yeah, yes. this link. Yes. It's not written like that. Yes, you say there's a letter of interest and that. In the design of the project, you can write that they are going to do that, they are helping to, to check uh, the outcomes, blah, blah, blah. You can write in the design project. But in fact, they don't have a contract, they don't sign a contract. So they are, they are there helping you. But it's very important if you have five good associated partners, the project is like that. And the budget is the same. So you, are, you have a bigger project with bigger impact with the same money. So for European Commission, that's fantastic. So is, is there a limit of number of partners? A limit? To partners or associated? Partners. partners. In fact, there is a, let's say, a factual limit of partners, but not a real one. For Q2, it's a partner has a, a fee of 250 euros per month per manager for managing cost. Right? So it's 250 per month. But only 10 partners can have this. So if you have 23 partners, only 10 have this money and the others not. But we have been in project with uh, more than 20 and we plan to, we did a plan to have one project with 100 partners. But at the end it was a mess. But the plan was to have uh, 100 uh, partners in it. But we did one with 26, 27, something like that. So there is no, no limit like that. You need at least Yeah, yeah, three. minimum is three. Minimum is three, yeah, from three, three countries. Better to have four, because if one gives up, <laughs> you're still in the legality. But if you are three and one escapes, you can sell for another one. That's, that's legal. Mm -hmm. On the small scale, isn't it possible only with two? Sorry? On the small scale of K2, isn't it possible only with two partners? Only two? Yes. Or no? Yes. For, yeah, you can do it with two. The small scale of the Yes. Small scale partnerships. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's something new. In K2, uh, this, there was a problem, or there is a problem, that always the same partners have the projects. It's a problem in Europe. Why? Because they know this. They know that they want a triangle. So they are making triangles one by one, pam, 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 and they're always getting the funds, the money. And so other institutions are, are complaining because they are not in. And if you did Many projects, you are extra points because you have experience, you have extra points, so you get, you get more projects and more projects. So it's very difficult to be new in K2. So that's why they started with these uh, small scale projects, K2. So they are, it's nice to start for the first time, but they have smaller budgets and something like that. But it's nice to start like that. Yes. 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 No, sir. Somehow now is small scale is either 30 or 60,000, and then there's a big one as previously. No? Yes. You can ask only for 30, I guess. But after this, I always wonder because sometimes I see in the results people submitting for 10,000. I say, okay, they spend yeah. as long time to write for nine than for 60. Or but it's nice to start like that. But they are easier. They are, the budget is lower, but the project is they are easier. So, about the, the key two projects, the normal key two projects, the idea is to develop something, a result that is a little bit innovative. If they don't expect something very spectacular because they want us to work together. So, but at the end, you have to, to do some results. And the results 
must be for everyone in Europe. It's not your need, it's not your special need. It's something that is nice for everyone and everyone can use. For instance, what, what is the typical Erasmus Key2 project? Pues an online course about sustainability. Okay, because you have it online and it's for free and everybody can use it in every country at any time. So it's the typical uh, Key2 project because you have the results, you have the course, it's online, it's free for everyone and anyone can, can reach it. So the idea of the key two projects is that you must develop uh, some results. And in the small scale, you don't, you don't need to do that. That's the good way. If that's why the, the budget is uh, so small. But now the rules are, have changed a little bit from the past. In the past, you designed the, the budget step by step. And the end, you say, I have a total of uh, 300 euros, and you submit it. Okay? That's the old way, and it has changed. Now it's completely different. Now it's the opposite. Now you have to choose if, if you want a small or a medium, and I don't remember if there is a big one. The small is 250 euros for all the partners. So it means that you do, cannot apply for 300 or for 200 or 180. It's not like that. It has changed. In the past, it was like that. But nowadays, it's not possible. So you, the first is the budget. You select the budget. I want to do 250. Or I want, I want to do 400 euros. So you start, let's say, for the, for the end. Okay? You have the money. And then you have to develop the project. And at the end, all the expenses must be 400. So it's just the opposite. You understand? Yes. So. May I rephrase? It means that uh, in the past, you said, okay, we'd like to do that and that and that. And my expectation is the cost of all what I want to do is 270. One point yes, yes. 25 yes, cents. Yes. You choose the budget. Minimum is 250. The next step is 400. Okay, let's say you choose the 400. And then you have to, to follow the rules of Erasmus like in the past. Okay, it means that, for instance, each partner has 250 euros per month for management. So you open the Excel and you are, okay, 250, we are, 10 partners, blah, blah, blah. So you are doing like that. We are going to Marseille for a meeting. So we have five partners. The travel cost is by kilometers, by distance. So you are adding the cost in the old way. So you have the scales, Erasmus scales, in the old way. We are doing an online course. So we need the 100 hours from France. You go to the scale, one hour is Blah, 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 you multiply, uh, 20 hours in Spain, blah, 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 you multiply, blah, blah, blah. We are going to have a training course in North Macedonia. So we are going to people, we do the scale, blah, blah, blah. But at the end, it must be 400. Max. Not much, not minimum, exactly, exactly 400. It's not, you cannot say, okay, I'm, I'm going to ask only for 350 and it will, because it will be easier for the European Commission that is cheaper. No, you choose 250, 400. And then you have to fix the budget step by step in that way. So, the, but the addition is 400,000. Till the last year. Till the last euros, yes. This is for the whole project or for each part? 
for the whole project. If it is for one panel, come on. <laughs> we go to the to the moon. To the moon. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's good about key to project? That when you write a project, you write the budget. Every everything is fixed, but uh, with tables in the Erasmus uh, rules, in the Erasmus law. So everything is fixed. If you have one teacher from from Montenegro, it's 60 euros per day, for instance. But there is a list for everything, so you cannot uh, change nothing. It means that it's very clear. Okay, so you do the budget and you split the budget partner by partner. If you have five partners, you have five budgets. And it's compulsory that every partner signs. When you get the project, every partner signs the agreement, including the budget. To avoid what? To avoid Erasmus discussions. Okay, so from the beginning, you know your budget, you know your responsibilities, and it's your money. Okay, so everybody knows their money, and you get your money. Uh, each partner receives their money from the coordinator. Okay? Step by step. Step by step. So in that way, it's very clear. It's your budget, and it's okay. If I don't send now my students to Malta, I will lose the money, but it's my fault, okay? But I know that I have that money, I didn't use it, it's my fault, I will lose the money, okay? So normally, they give, you can write in the proposal, what do you want to do? To, get, to have 20% of the money at the starting point, 40 at the intermediate report, and the rest at the end, something like that, okay? So you get some money, at the starting point, maybe 20%, maybe 40% in after the intermediate report, you have to write an intermediate report. And if it is approved, you will get the, let's say 40%, it's written in your project. And at the end, you have to write a final report. Final report is all the papers, I did this, all the results are there, all the tickets, everything, blah, blah, blah. Attendance list, Atten by the way. Signatures that we didn't yeah. today. <laughs> All the certificates. That's the final report. So then they check the final report. And they transfer you the last 20% in that moment. But what happens if I didn't send my students to Malta? They keep this money from the last transfer. So at the end, I have less money in my, my transfer because I didn't spend that, okay? What's very, very important in key two? That's very important and some people, they don't understand that. In the key two project, it's not like key one. Key one is, they are very easy because they are mobilities, blah, blah, blah. But in key action two, we sign a contract, a real contract, a legal contract partner by partner, okay? And we are under le the legislation of the coordinating country, okay? I think that nothing is aware of that, even if I don't know. Uh, what does it mean? Doesn't mean that I did a couple of projects in Norway. The coordinator was Norway. It means that if we have any problem inside the project, if we have to go to court, we'll go in Norway, all the partners, okay? It means that the key two, they are not connected with our countries. If I am from Spain, but I am doing a key two coordinating in Norway, in Spain, they don't care about me. If I call to the national agency in Spain, they will say, okay, you are from Norway, plug, and they don't answer nothing. Okay, so the responsibility is from the Norwegian national agency. That's very, very important, 
because sometimes in European projects, in Tito projects, there are a lot of changes. For instance, okay, I'm not going to Malta. Can I use those mobilities to go to Montenegro for the next meeting? Or can I change my budget for one result to another? Okay, so never ask to your national agency. You always ask to the Norwegian agency because they are, the answers are different. But at the end, the responsibility is only from the nation that is coordinating the, the country. And if you have a problem, you will have to go to Oslo, to the car, to have a lawyer, etc., etc. So never call your national agency about, can I do that, can I do that? Because they don't answer. I mean, it's another uh, national agency. And that's very important because a lawyer in Norway so it can be really, really expensive. So it means that the coordinator is the only one that is in contact with the national agency. And it's written like that in the contract. I cannot call to Oslo to say, OK, I have a problem with the coordinator. No, it doesn't work like that. The coordinator has the agreement with the national agency. And we, as partners from different countries, we have to rely on the coordinator. And always asking through the co coordinator to the national agency. Because at the end, we have a legal contract, okay? but with the Norwegian agency. The only one person who can contact the national agency is the coordinator. So everything goes like that. The money goes like that. All the money goes to the coordinator in Norway, and then he sends the money to tra they transfer the money to everyone. Okay? But what's very good with Key 2 project that everything is clear. You sign the budget uh, step by te step. Okay? I have two mobilities, is that, that money. I have 100 hours of teacher, is that money. I'm going to a training, so is that money. So at the end, everything is clear. So it's, it's more easier to, to develop the, the key to action. If uh, we have some problems to coordinate, how can we reach the uh, national agency? In theory, you cannot. Yes, okay. But okay. if you want to change, we can. If there are problems, they are, there is a specific office in Brussels yes. for that. But okay. never do that. Oh, I mean, okay. it's better to, to, to give back the money. Because this office in Brussels, they are going to, to check everything. But everything means everything. So you are going to have a nightmare for two years, something like that. Okay. So it's better to give back the money. Okay. To, I mean, I know one partner from, from Spain. They are in that situation. He called Brussels? Yeah? He called Brussels? No, no, they had a problem like that. So somebody complained to this office, and now this office is taking everything. I mean, did you add sugar to the coffee? Yes or not? I mean, so it's a disaster. So in Erasmus projects, if you have problems, better not to, to ask very much to the national agency. It's better to solve in an internal way. Okay, thank you. Any question? Is that, is it? I have a question. In the future, when we, when we, when we will try to write a project and we will have a question, and we'll ask you that? Yeah, of course. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Great. But it's better not to ask to the national agency, because the national agency is always very official about everything. They are not bad people, but they are official. Okay. There are a lot of rules in Erasmus, but the national agencies are very nice people. Really, they, it's very difficult to have problems with them. 
but they are official. If you call them, for instance, we now did a trip to Greenland. The budget is 800 to go hotel, food, everything from Spain. That's impossible. Okay, but that's the rule. We ask it to the national agency, what can we do? And they say, that's the rule. Why did you apply to go to Greenland? That's the rule. So we are not going to ask. But they are not going to give you problems. If you don't ask, everything will be easy. You also have random controls. 10%, if I'm not wrong, of the cases of the folders. They pick like this, and they make a deep control. Even if there's no problem, just to... They mean the National Agency or the Brussels Department? National Agency. No, they do a National Agency. <coughs> yes. And the National Agency just verifies the coordinator or also the partners? No, the coordinator must have all the papers. Everything. They go to the coordinator and the coordinator has all everything. And so the papers and, and everything. At the, at the end, the responsibility is the coordinator. Is the coordinator. Yes, because he signed the contract with the national agency. At the end, it's, it's like that. But in fact, if you don't kill someone, it's very difficult to have problems with the national agency because they know that everything is very complicated. I mean, they are very flexible. If you are not cheating, if you are just flexible, they don't care very much. But it's true that the answers from the national agency are completely different. <coughs> For instance, if you call to the Portuguese national agency, they don't care about anything. For instance, can I go from one meeting to another without going to Spain? And they say, we don't care. But if you call to Germany, they say, no, you cannot do that. And it's like that in many things. Spain is quite shitty, no? And that's why yeah. if the two identical projects, one is led by a Portuguese coordinator, you have to ask the coordinator if it's Portuguese. Yes. Would mind you to go yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. And the, the, the is German. You yes. This one, if you can, and the answer may be different. No, no. So it's if you are going from Germany to, uh, yes. to <laughs> Portugal, and that the two answers are different, you will stick to the road. It, it can be slightly different, for instance, at the virtual period. Now we have still have quite a lot of well, blended mobility, I think, so partly virtual. And uh, so the question came to say, okay, virtual, how many hours is it? Yes. France is lucky because they said, okay, if you work three hours virtual, it's okay. But I know that for Italy or Spain, they decide another number. Yes, some agencies, they are very strict. For instance, in Germany, if you have a training week, they want you to be the night before sleeping there and the night after to, to sleep there to be sure that you cover the five days. But if you come to the Portuguese agency, I mean, you can be there on Monday and leave on Friday. So the answers are completely different. Voilà, voilà. So good luck for the next Kitu projects. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.